The Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video, Fishing Forecast for New England. I'm going to start things off by reminding you that as the weather gets nicer and you start to sneak out and fish, that I'm always looking for pictures to fill both the report section as well as the weekly covers of the Fisherman Magazine. When you get a good shot, please send your digital high resolution photo to me via email at tlipinski at thefisherman.com. As I've noted before, please send the original and unedited version of the photographs. And remember to keep the images tasteful, clean, and preferably showing how much fun you're having and the odds of making the cover go way, way up. One quick item of note, next Saturday the 19th, I'll be doing an ongoing demo throughout the day as part of the annual Striper Surf Day at Rivers End Tackle in Old Sabre, Connecticut. There will also be seminars and demos from Bill Wetzel, Dennis Zambrata, Steve McKenna, and Joe D'Agostino, as well as a whole bunch of factory reps on hand. It's a free event, they got a ton of great food, so come on out and see us. For complete details on the event, also you can check out thefisherman.com. All right, moving on into the report, we're gonna start things off as always in Connecticut, where most of the trout stocked waters are closed until opening day on April 9th. However, the TMAs remain open to catch and release fishing. And I've been hearing mixed results by anglers heading out and doing, uh, some are doing quite well and some aren't really seeing too many fish or catching a whole lot, but still having a great time out on the water. I will remind you though, be sure to verify the status of your local water body, regardless of whether or not you're targeting trout prior to heading out freshwater fishing between now and the 9th, because regardless of whether you're targeting trout, bass, whatever it may be, if that lake is stocked with trout, likely it's going to be closed to any sort of fishing. And also of note in Connecticut, the DEP released its official announcement of the 2016 marine regulations this week. All size and bag limits as well as seasons remain unchanged with the exception of black sea bass, which have been set at a 15 inch minimum and a five fish per angler limit with the season spanning from May 1st through December 31st. Now, I attend the public hearing a couple of weeks ago and this is pretty much the overwhelming sentiment of all of the anglers there, both recreational anglers and the four hire boats was for these regulations. Uh, this is best in our opinion, benefits the anglers anytime they can get out. However, I'm hearing that the other surrounding states, Rhode Island, New York, are not looking at similar uh, regulations, unfortunately. They're gonna probably keep their 14 inch minimum and have a much shorter season. So I commend Connecticut for doing their best to keep the fishing season open as long as possible. Anglers seem to have no problem with that 15 inch minimum. Maybe next season, those surrounding states will take notice and follow suit. And now moving on into Rhode Island, sound the alarms, the cod boats are back on the fishing grounds and all things considered, the action has been pretty good this week. Francis Fleet has been out a few times and they're reporting finding fish pretty much everywhere they've checked with cod, ling and pollock hitting the coolers and even some catch and release black sea bass going back to the ocean to fight another day. Now the rest of this week and on into the weekend looks pretty good right now so I, I urge you to get out on the water fishing for cod if you want to get out before mother nature changes her mind and gets back on the poor weather potentially in the future. And lastly, up in Massachusetts, guys from Red Top have been making the best of this recent run of warm March weather that we've seen with good catches of pickerel, perch, and even some largemouth bass to four and a half pounds being caught. And also, word is that the state trucks are going to begin stocking trout this week with the southeastern portion of the state supposedly planning on receiving those first early fish. So there you have it, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint.